kids. Billy Bots here. What a great day we've got planned for you. We have a memory verse with Miss Heather. We've got Abby dropping by to do the declaration. Things that make you go, huh? A game and the Bible shorts. Good morning, children. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Stroop, and I'm in my greenhouse this morning. I'll be bringing your weekly Bible verse, and it's about midnight. And Paul and Silas are praying and singing hymns to God. Ah! And all the other prisoners were listening. Okay, kids, let's go through the actions. So when I say, at midnight, point to your wrist as if it's your watch. And when I say praying, put your hands together as if you're praying. And when we're singing hymns to God, just reach out your hands and go, ah! Everybody do it now. Ready? Ah! And when we say listening, put your hands to your ears as if you're listening real close. Okay, kids, now let's repeat our verse. Acts 16, 25 says, At midnight, Paul and Silas were praying, singing hymns to God. Ah! And all the other prisoners were listening. Okay, it's your turn, kids, and go! Acts 16, 25. And about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Ah! And the other prisoners were listening. Great job, kids. Have a great week. Bye. Hi, kids. I'm Paul. And I'm Silas. So Silas and I were off to prayer like we normally would. Well, we ran into this girl, this young girl. She was a slave girl. Man, I hate slavery. Paul, that just broke my heart when I saw her. But she would be there every day and she would be doing what we call fortune telling. There was something really strange about her, wasn't there? That's right, Silas. This slave girl was controlled by a demon. You know, one of the devil's workers. Yeah, but you took care of that demon. You cast it out in Jesus' name and you set that girl free. Paul, I've never seen her so happy. She was so full of joy. Well, at least she was. That's right, Silas. Her owners weren't very happy at all. In fact, they dragged us out in the marketplace and took us to the courts. And the courts decided they were going to throw us in jail. Paul, I think you're forgetting something. Oh, Silas, I'm not forgetting that. That was painful. But we're okay now, and really it's just kind of a small thing compared to what Jesus did for us. Are you going to tell them what happened? <laughs> okay, I will. You see, they took us and they took off our coats, and they decided that they were going to give us quite the beating. And it hurt really badly. In fact, man, I, I was so sore for so long. Paul, that one guy was huge. Man, did it ever hurt when he hit me. And then, on top of all that, they decided that they were going to throw us in jail. I know, Silas. It sounds really bad, and it was at the time. But you know what? God got so much glory in that situation. Do you remember what happened? I sure do. It was absolutely incredible. I think it was about midnight, and we were singing and praising God. I know, it sounds strange to people that we were in prison, in the deep, dark prison, and we were praising God with everything we had. It was so much fun. And then all of a sudden... Okay, Silas, before you tell them the rest of the story, let me tell them why we were praising God and praying in prison. You know, some people need to be happy to be able to praise God. They need everything to be perfect. But we learned a long time ago that it's not our situations that make us happy. It's not what's happening that makes us happy. I mean, I wasn't happy about getting beat up and I wasn't happy about getting thrown into jail, but I knew that God was going to take this and he was gonna do something amazing with it. And so that's why we were singing and that's why we were praising. We just wanted to show God how much we trusted him and how much we loved him. Okay, so we were praising and singing and praying at about midnight, and all of a sudden, the whole place began to shake and shake and shake, and there was an earthquake, and our chains fell off, and all the doors opened up. It was so incredible. 
<laughs> well, Silas, I know there's so much more that we could tell from this story, but unfortunately, we've got to go. So kids, here's what you need to do. You need to get mom and dad to sit down with your Bible and read. Read the rest of the story. It's found in Acts chapter 16, verse 16, right to the end of the chapter. There's so many other cool things that happen in there. But remember, we were praising, we were praying, we were full of joy. Even though something very difficult and very bad was happening, we knew our God was taking care of us. Love you guys. Bye. Hey kids, it's games time again. We're gonna do another scavenger hunt, but this time you have to find two items. Now, you have to find something that's blue and something that's red. On your mark, get set, go! for today are my prayers are super califragilistic expialidocious all right let's try that again so my prayers are super califragilistic expialidocious okay kids now you give it a try Guys. Hey kids, welcome to another episode of Things That Make You Go, huh? Well, look down here. We have got what we call a hand boiler. And when I touch it and hold it, it's going to start to boil. Things That Make You Go, huh? Hey kids, welcome back to Things That Make You Go, huh? So we're in a dark room today so that you can see what is about to happen. Watch these light bulbs not connected to anything, no wires connected, and all of a sudden, watch, whoa, oh, 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 things that make you go, huh? Hi kids, this is a things that make you go, huh? Reveal. So here, you might remember this from camp, and it's the one where I make this nut or a ring or whatever it would be go up the string when i tell it to so watch remember here we go and up it goes up the string so the question is how do i do that all you need to have is a broken elastic thick one is good and something to make it go up that's round so here's the secret you pinch it in the middle stretch it and then you very, very slowly let it come between your fingers. These fingers down here, see? Watch the elastic at the bottom. See it getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Things that make you go, huh? Hey kids, so remember, the strong and courageous, we pray and praise. We're just like Paul and Silas. When things get tough, we start praising God more and more. And look out, our prayers are supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. They're just awesome. Bye now, kids. See you next week. <laughs>